Hello, I'm Jim Roach from Gartner Research Board, and I have the great pleasure of being joined by Mark Benioff, the co-founder, chairman, and co-CEO of Salesforce. You're asked to give a commencement speech at your alma mater, USC Business School, and you want to pass along some wisdom mm -hmm. about what business leaders really need to get right in the decades to come. Mm -hmm. What advice do you share? Well, I think that that question, what is really important to you, is something that every CEO should start with. What is it that's really important to you? You're gonna get challenged as a CEO on a regular basis. And it could be a performance challenge, it could be a cultural challenge, uh, it could be an investor challenge, it could be a customer challenge. Any stakeholder could come and challenge you, uh, even your local communities. At the end of the day, have you walked away from your values or are you strengthening your values? Are you clear on what your values are? Do you know what it is that's truly important to you? Uh, we've probably said this now three times in just a few minutes, because I think that that is something that when I did go to USC, that wasn't really part of the narrative. So today that needs to be the modern CEO. The modern CEO or the modern CIO needs to be very crystal clear. What are their core values that they're operating? Not just the vision, we're gonna achieve this, but how you're gonna achieve it. Now, why I would say that that's important is every single CIO that I work with around the world knows the stories of companies in the tech industry, not necessarily IT, but tech, who have tried to execute with some fairly perverse values and ended up as, you know, spotlight television shows on Netflix or Apple or whatever, because it was so bizarre, but it was about their values that they didn't get clear up front. What would be the core values of the organization? And I think if you look at truly sustainable companies, companies like yours, Gartner, uh, the outstanding work you know, of your, of your CEO, who I knew even before he was at Gartner, when he was at ADP, but this idea that you know, we operate our company with values and that we take basically, you know, um, a perspective that we are going to uh, be connected to these values 100% of the time. I want to leave you with a final, the final word. Do you have any, any thoughts you'd like to share before we wrap up? Well, I think that for the leaders who are listening to this type of presentation, you know, today we're in a world now as we kind of enter our post-pandemic reality where we can redefine our organizations and our leadership. We can ask ourselves, what do we really want? And also what is really important to us? To understand our values and to prioritize them, to know and to ask, you know, how are we achieving this? How are we operationalizing our values into our organization? And we work a lot with uh, Ford. And of course, we all remember, you know, quality was job one at Ford. That was our value. Um, it came out of a time when they were in a quality crisis. Today, sustainability is job one, and they're redefining their company based on these amazing new cars like the Mach-E and the Ford F-150 Lightning. So thinking about your values is very important. and can impact dramatically your business. And also identifying the obstacles. What is preventing you from achieving your success? And Having the metrics like Deming taught us after World War II is critical, the KPIs. How will we know that we've achieved our success? How will we know that we've achieved our vision and our values? I think now's the time for all of us to really reconsider that and think about that in our new world. We can see our the opportunities are incredible for us with technology. The capabilities of our companies are never been bigger and better. But we also see there's a lot of challenges in the world and we all know the climate, for example, is changing and we can see that we all have our own personal stories. And so thinking about how each one of us or our companies can become net zero, create new technologies that improve the environment. Even a company that uh, I own, Time, has created a company now called CO2.com that is the easy button for companies to go net zero. Uh, that came out of a discussion just like this, that it's very important um, that each of us do something to improve the world, to improve the state of the world. Look, none of us can do everything, but all of us can do something. 
Thank you once again, Mark. Really appreciate your time. Always, always a pleasure to be with you. And thanks for all your great support over, you know, our two and a half decades at Salesforce.